What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel, another video. Today I was inspired to do a geode. So I've seen recently a bunch of these like juicy, beautiful, giant purple geodes. So that's what we're gonna try to do today. I have a bunch of crushed glass. So I have a metallic crushed glass. I have a very clear, transparent crushed glass. And then I have one that's kind of a pearlescent. So these are the colors we're gonna be using today. We have a titanium white. We have a light gray, a violet, doxazine purple. I mixed these two together and created this color, which is just a lighter shade of purple, and then an oxide black. And that's the colors we're gonna be working with today. The base coat is going to be another ivory black. So it's not quite as dark, but it should still give us a really nice look. So I'm going to put a nice base coat down. Now the idea behind this is I'm going to do a couple puddle pours and then I'm going to make a layered cup or two and do a couple ring pours trying to create that stone look because when you look at the stone it has those thicker layers but it also has those really fine uh, detailed layers between. So kind of the idea that I wanted to go with. So I think the first puddle I want to be this dark, dark black. Because as you can see, it's definitely darker <clears throat> than the color it was laid on. And then we got a little layer of purple. Maybe have a subtle layer of this light gray, kind of to act as stone. A little violet. Probably just a dab of the white. A little bit of white, not too much. So while I layer this, I wanna know how everybody's day was. How's everybody doing this wonderful day? It is great that you guys are here with me, sharing in this experience. So the way I'm going to layer this, is hopefully you'll be able to see that. I don't want the colors to churn because I know that as I'm doing my ring pour, the colors are gonna subtly mix anyway. And I'm doing like a gradient so I can try to capitalize on a lot of these different colors that are here. Just a little gray, not too much. Same with the white. I'm not going to layer too much white in here. And then we're just going to go kind of in reverse fashion. I don't want any more gray. And if I layer this well enough, I won't even need to use the second cup for the ring pour. I can just focus on the puddles. And that'll be it. But I'm super excited about this. I've been thinking about this for days now. I've had a couple attempts at it. And you know, we are our own worst critic. And I really didn't like what I got. So I'm trying over. Do over, kind of. So let's the way I poured it, it was out of the side, so I'm not getting the detail that I would like, but now I'm starting to get it. makes it easier if you try to find somewhere to rest your elbow. All right, so that's it for that. And we're gonna take, pour just a little spot of black. Because these are gonna push all the other layers out. Kind of give it that 
kind of look like it is layered stone, which is what I was going for. All right, and then another little spot of black. Then we can do another ring pour in there. And as you, you remember these layers, the puddle was fairly large in the beginning. And now it's very small. So that's what we're hoping to continue that as we I wonder if I used to turn it if that does anything. Well right now it's not centered, so I'm chasing it. So let's not do that. This looks amazing so far. So far, this is the better one out of the ones I've tried. This looks so much more like stone to me than the other one did. All right, let me see if I can stop that. All right, look at this thing. I love this so far. So, well, what I want to do is I want to put some dioxazine purple, but I don't want so much in the center that when I spread it out, it just takes completely over. Because I know I'm going to spread it. Hmm. That might be all I'm going to add, actually. I'm going to take this black, though, put it around the edges. So if we end up with some negative space, it's totally fine. Just give it something to slide over. And if it gets towards the edge, it starts rolling under. You know, we can deal with that when we get to it. I know that these are two different colored blacks. You can see that very distinctly. So let me clean up my workspace real quick and then we will get to the spin because that's like the best part. I don't know if you heard that foghorn in the background. That wakes me up every day whenever I'm sleeping. I get to wake up to a beautiful foghorn every morning. And it's, I want to say it's glorious, but it's not glorious. But what can you do? All right. Man, I'm actually like breathing hard and everything. Like, this is exciting. All right, let me see what I can do with just kind of tilting it a little bit to stretch it. It is stretching well. The colors are definitely flowing around. Only thing I might have wanted to add to this is maybe some metallics would have made this really wicked looking. Maybe. All right, let me bring this closer to the center. I wanted to do that little tilt because then I start disturbing these lines. They don't look as uniform because we're going for like a rock look. And I want it to look like that. So we're about to spin it. I'm so excited. This is so much fun. All right. Just keep letting the centrifugal force do the work for you so you don't have to. And... Oh, geez. Okay. I am noticing that I need some black here. I want to bring you guys down so you can actually check this thing out right now because the lines in this are phenomenal. And I love how it's off centered. I love how there is some black negative space up there. Man, beautiful. This thing looks so good right now. The details are just perfect. I have a good base from which to start 
inlaying that busted glass. Love it. All right, so this part I'm gonna end up probably speeding through because this is gonna take me a while because there's gonna be a lot of small details here. So let me get these in there. All right, so what we've done so far is I've inlaid the really dark metallic purple crystals and I'm going to be doing a pan of like a close up real quick. But yes, this is exactly the way I was hoping that it would look. It looks freaking amazing and it is even creating some cells. So it almost looks like it breaks up the rock just a little bit. But let me bring you guys down because this is gorgeous. I mean, just look at how the crystals kind of look interacting with those really fine lines. I love this. It's amazing. If you want to watch another video just like this, click the screen right now and I'll see you there.